Hey there y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home and I'm excited to come to you guys tonight to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. And I'm just now realizing I forgot my scissors. So hey, say hey as you hop on and let me see if I can locate a pair. Oh, you know what? I know where they are. Hang tight. Give me one quick second. Okay, I've got them. Do y'all remember when I made this for you guys not too long ago? It was my fabric scissor pouch so that I would always know where they were and have them handy. So here they are. Um, I love this little bling that I have on it, but yeah, it was easy to find. So here they are. If you missed that video, scroll around. You'll find it here on the page or you can search under videos. So I'm excited to hop on. I know everybody always says that, but I really, really am. It would be such a blessing to me if you guys would do this tonight because I am trying to introduce to you all, drum roll, somebody give me one of those. Can you do your tongue like that? The little, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, but somebody give me a drum roll, a virtual drum roll, because I am going to introduce us, I think, to a brand new bow. A brand new bow. I guess this is like a virtual drum roll. Give me some love. Um, a brand new bow. Well, it's brand new to me and I hope it's brand new to you. Um, so it ought to be exciting. It's called, I'm calling it my naughty bow. I'm calling it my naughty bow. Not like shame on you naughty, like Santa's naughty list. It's like tie a knot naughty. Okay, tie a knot naughty. So it is going to be hopefully new to you. We'll see. And it's so simple, y'all. You might be like, well, I don't call that a naughty bow. I call it something else. Well, you might, um, but this is my naughty bow. Okay, so here we go. You're going to take whatever ribbon you want. I am just rolling with this wired ribbon I had. And guys, this was from Joanne's last Christmas, not this last one we had, but the year before that. So 2018 Christmas, it may or may not still be there, but it is wired. Hold on, let me find the camera here. It is wired and it has got a red um, trim on it. So it was really, really cute. And I thought I would use it. I know I bought it for Christmas, but I thought I'd use it for kind of maybe towards Valentine's. And I thought we would try out this naughty bow, K-N-O-T-T-Y. All right, you guys ready? You got some wired ribbon? I've never done this live. We are going to see how it works. I've practiced it a couple a couple of times. I had it in my head and then I practiced it a couple different times. And so, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. All right, so you take your ribbon and you're gonna do like you do, if you guys are familiar with the messy bow, you know how we take it and we make it like a pom-pom and we wrap it around our, our fingers. Well, this one we're gonna do similar, but we're just gonna wrap it around a lot looser. Now this ribbon is not two-sided, so it's only got the red on one side. So I have to be kind of careful that I uh, keep it the correct side up, the right side up. So, and on this particular one tonight, um, I can't decide, I may or may not do tails for it. You can do tails for this bow. Um, let's, let's just try to do some tails with it. We'll try to do some tails with it. So you're gonna wanna have um, a circle, okay? And this is gonna determine how big your bow is. And you can't, it's hard to do a tiny one of these, y'all. You have to kind of do a medium to large one of these because it just doesn't work. By the time you put your knot in, it takes up so much of the ribbon. Sorry, y'all, this is a little bit, you can see where I practiced. It's a little bit messy now. Um, but it's not a messy bow. All right, so we're gonna take and make our bow probably about yay big. And guys, I don't have a chart here. I'm gonna say that's about six inches. I'm gonna say that's about six inches. But I can measure it another time and do an actual tutorial where you guys can just see step by step. Um, I'll probably do that next week. But for tonight, we are just gonna do it this way. 
and you're just gonna make as many loops as you want. And again, I have really annihilated my ribbon here by messing with it before. I've got two, I'm gonna go three. I think I'm gonna go three loops. This is, for those of you who are gonna ask me, one and a half inch ribbon. This is one and a half inch ribbon. So that's three hoops so far. Can you see them? Give me some hearts if you are um, learning something new tonight. And then I'm going to do the tails this long, a little bit longer. You're gonna do your tails a little bit longer than the actual bow. See what I have here? A mess, <laughs> I have a mess. No, this is the bow inside here and this is the tails down here, okay? This is the bows and this is the tails. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut us off right there. I'm being brave. Somebody hold their breath for me. And my scissors are dull because I have used them on everything. They're supposed to be my fabric scissors. It looks like a rat chewed that, y'all. It looks like a rat chewed that. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, okay, so I am going to literally take the tail part and put it off to the side because I don't need it right now. I'm not literally removing it. These aren't very good instructions, are they? Um, I'm not literally, just give me some laughies if you think this is hilarious. So, but I'm gonna show you how to do the bow part. So I still have the bow in my hands. I am going to literally, what am I gonna do? I haven't done it with the tails, y'all, so this is kind of confusing me. Um, you, you're glad I know what I'm doing because you're just lost. Um, okay, Tanya. Let me just make it a regular bow, y'all. I went ahead and just pulled it right here without the tails so that I don't continue to confuse people. So you're gonna take your material, you have it in your hoops. I've got literally one, two, three, four, five hoops, and it is best to make it odd numbers. So either three hoops or five hoops. And then I'm just gonna flatten it. Because it's wired, I'm literally just gonna flatten it like this on the table. So now I have my, my bow and I'm gonna take it in the middle and I'm literally going to, this is the magical part, tie it in a bow, tie it in a knot. This is the knotty part. And you're gonna be very gentle with it because it's a lot of ribbon, it's a lot of ribbon. And then this is the bow, I mean, this is the knot. Make it equal, play with it, move it on each side almost looks like baseball ribbon and then you're gonna play with it some more I just have to set it down for a second play with it some more y'all see what I'm doing I'm just moving it back and forth from side to side getting the knot just right to where it looks pretty it's on the front of the bow this is what I have This is the knotty bow. Now all we have left to do is spread out the sides. So you guys give me some hearts and we will spread out the sides. Don't forget to do this too because we wanna let all of our friends know about the knotty bow. All right, this is gonna be super cute when we're done, I promise you. I did practice it. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in the very middle of where the ribbon is, okay? Making a little hole here, trying to find the very first ribbon. There it is, on both sides, okay? And then I'm just going to take each section and open it up. That was the, an end piece. All right, each section, each section and open it up, fluff it. We love to fluff our bows. And 
And then I'm gonna show you what I wanted to do to it. Look, I ended up with a tail. I ended up with a short tail and a, and a longer tail, <laughs> naturally. And you know how bows are, y'all. You have to kind of play with them to get uh, them how you exactly want them. And so I'll probably play with this a lot longer after we hop off um, before I take a picture for you. But I just want to at least give you the idea. And then I want to show you how I want to fix it. I want to dress it up a little. And it's not what you think. It's not what you think. I know what you guys think. You think I'm talking about adding some bling to the middle and I'm not talking about that. You know, I gotta find out which way this tail wants to go. All right, I've got him. And if I had my good fabric scissors, then this would be a piece of cake to do the tails. All right, but you guys know how to do tails. Anyway, here's where we are. Here's where we are. This is the knotty bow. Do you see the knot in the center? And then, let me see if there's any love in these scissors. Let's see if these scissors can give me any love. It's not looking like it, y'all. It just wants to eat the ribbon. But it gave me a little love. Hold on. A little bit of love over here with the scissors. And then we're gonna finish the bow up and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this tail a little shorter too. And I know I shouldn't be using these on the wired ribbon, but I am. Okay, here's where we are. And this is what I wanna add. This is the fun part, y'all. I wanna add these. I'm gonna add these to the bow. And these are just cute little Valentine stickers, you guys. I gave a pack of these away on one of the projects we did recently. These little stickers are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put little heart stickers on the bow. I don't know where y'all. I was wanting to put it on like the ribbon part. I don't know which direction. I guess just, yeah, this way. And there's lots of them. So you could go, you know, as heavy or as light as you want with them. But I thought this would be a cute way to dress up the bow since the ribbon isn't, you know, doesn't have a print on it or anything like that. I'm gonna do one side to show you. If you guys have time, I'm gonna show you the one side. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love making those. You know what, I like, I like them not being straight. I'm gonna do them different directions. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm putting the hearts on the bow. Just decorating the bow a little bit. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. And when you're done, you can like do them, you, when you get creative, you can do them all different directions, however you want to doll up your naughty bow. We are making this naughty bow be nice. So what I did was I did three on the top ribbon and then I did two on all the lower ribbons because it didn't they didn't need as much. Guys, I did not tell the whole truth. I am going to finish this. I'm going to finish this so you guys can see um, the finished bow. How about that? Give me some love for finishing this out. <laughs> I'm going to finish this out for you guys just because it's addicting and fun and cute. But it's such, it's so cute, y'all. It's so cute and so easy. I'm tired of seeing people struggle making bows. And this, y'all, this is like elementary. This is elementary. You can just tie it in a knot and call it a day. I wanted to have like the easiest bows ever. 
Y'all, that mesh bow that I make is so easy. The messy bow is so easy. Literally, you take a zip tie to put it together. If you haven't seen that, that's pinned to the top of this page, the Christmas version. We are gonna do a Valentine's version, so hang loose for that. And then, um, hold on, I wanna move this. I wanna move this up a little. And then we are gonna do, um, I didn't even tell y'all that, hold on. And I think I'll put a couple on the, the tails just to bring it all together. Why not, right? Why not? This tail you can barely see, but I'm gonna put one on the bottom of it. And then I'll show you. What do you think? What do you think of the naughty bow? Oh good, I'm so glad it's different and new to you. I'm gonna hold it up here as much as I can. Thank you for the hearts for the naughty bow. You guys are the best, the best, best, best. It was so easy. Even your kids could do it. Even your grandkids could make one. And then I love, love, love the touch of the stickers on the bow, y'all. This is the back, there's nothing to it. You can just see the back has the knot. And then there's my two tails. And then there's the front. And you could use this on any decor. You could use this on a gift. You could use this on anything, y'all. <laughs> anything you want. Yay, y'all are gonna do one. I'm so glad. I'm gonna hold this up for people that are just hopping on. <laughs> y'all are matching the bow, giving me all these hearts for this. Just making sure you can see all the ways it was made. Sorry, I made it confusing at the beginning. I got a little confused and nervous about the um, tails. And you can make the tails longer, y'all. You guys, you guys know how to make tails, but you wanna do them and wrap them with the original knot. You wanna make them with the original knot. All right, listen, I'm gonna let you guys go and have the wonderful rest of your evening and I uh, hope you make a naughty bow. I hope you do. Bye.